Mountains will see 69 tomorrow, going into the 70s briefly on Friday before we see temperatures cooling off once again. Saturday, 60s, Sunday, Mother's Day, temperatures up in the mountains into the 50s. And for our high desert communities, we'll continue to see the offshore flow bring us some windy conditions all the way through Saturday. And once again, we'll go from 82 Saturday into 72 on Sunday, 10 less on Monday. Glenn and Lou at 62 degrees, but again, Happy to report we'll see a great mom's day. Yes, and okay. that's what's important. Thank you, Kai. Appreciate it. All right, LA Fleet Week is returning in person to the Port of Los Angeles. KTLA 5's Gail Anderson has details on the preparations in San Pedro and how you can honor our servicemen and women. May is Military Appreciation Month. National Military Appreciation Month, which brings us to the Battleship Iowa Museum in San Pedro as they prepare for LA Fleet Week. Jonathan Williams, in charge of this magnificent vessel and everything that has to go on with it, you're ready. The Memorial Day weekend is uh, on your radar. Absolutely. Uh, Memorial Day weekend, the kickoff of the summer, better weather. LA Fleet Week, and we're going to bring LA Fleet Week throughout Los Angeles and bring uh, many of the branches, all the branches that will be here actually Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Coast Guard, Air Force. We're going to bring some of them into your communities uh, and we're going to bring the bands down and uh, have a great time. It's going to be a bigger, badder, funner event this year. Uh, more traditional museums, uh, we've uh, learned, have had time to make some changes, improvements, learn a few things during the downtime, during the pandemic. You haven't been able to have a fleet week, of course, during the pandemic. Are there any things you've been able to do, improve, learn during the downtime? You know, here at the ship, we actually restructured our entire organization and we have um, funner tours, add on tours. Um, took Fleet Week, and we're really this year highlighting uh, what it does for the community. You're involved and constantly involved in hull preservation here. It's about innovation. It's about making sure that we uh, protect this large asset behind us. I think across the country, we've seen uh, some of those challenges with some of those ships. It's been very um, public on, and uh, we've innovated a process to maintain this ship. Uh, our deck may not look like the best, and that's because we put our money in the hull, and especially a steel ship sitting in salt water. Um, basic chemistry tells you that's not good. We have to spend about two, 250 to $300,000 a year just to maintain the steel in the water here, and we've got a, a process to do so. And so people supporting that make it possible for us to maintain it. We civilians can donate at the website? Absolutely. Pacificbattleship.com. That is pacificbattleship.com. Uh, big donation button right on the front. Click donate and uh, help support us. We truly appreciate it, and it helps go directly to maintaining this ship for our future as, as a platform for many different things, as a community center, basically. And the timing is perfect because May is Military Appreciation Month. So a donation will be a demonstration of that appreciation. Thank you. Here in San Pedro, Gail Anderson, KTLA 5 News.